is going on this week. On Monday the 20th through Friday the 24th is star testing. Wednesday the 22nd, report cards are coming home. And make sure you're here on Thursday on 23rd, we'll be seeing James Spann. On Friday the 24th will be a school trip. And that's all for this week. Talk to you next time. Bye. Go and do it for me. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do Varsity girls and boys beat, beat Fairview in soccer. Varsity softball won their first area ever area game versus Fayette. Track has had some cold meets this um, year. Spring sports will continue uh, next week. Middle school baseball beat Fayette twice. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Signing out now. Royal Lions. I see out too late. Hello, I'm your local news reporter, so listen up. The annual Chilton dinner, the Chilton supper, is March the 17th in Arleigh, Alabama. At Meek High School, it is the 58th annual supper. Meek School in invites everyone to attend. A lot of hard work by teacher, students and teachers doing the, going into the preparing of this dinner. And it starts at 4.30. Everyone get out and get up there. And that's all for your local news. Today is Friday, March 17th, 2017. Reporting live from the First Alert Weather Center at Hale Elementary School. It looks like warmer weather is coming back. The weekly forecast is as follows. Today will be cloudy with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Saturday has a 70 chance of rain and a high of 65 and a low of 37. Sunday will be a sunny 64 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. Monday will be a high of 68 and a low of 50 degrees. Tuesday will be 72 degrees and a high of 48 degrees with a 40% chance of showers that night. Wednesday and Thursday will be, and Friday, highs will be up in the high 60s and lows in the mid 70s. And uh, hope everyone has a great weekend in the lines. St. Patrick was a patron saint of Ireland. He was born on 365 A.D. He died on March 17th, 461 A.D. We wear green because St. Patrick revealers thought wearing green made one invisible to leprechauns and any type of fairy creatures. People began pinching those who did not wear green as a reminder that leprechauns who would sneak up and pinch green abstainers. Some way we celebrate it is by dyeing the Chicago River green. There is many other ways people around the world celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That's all for your world news today. This has been your weekly roar.